Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show another amazing automation by which you can automate the data entry process in a spreadsheet application. So here you can uh, directly and automatically add data into a spreadsheet on form submissions. Okay, so let me show you how this is going to work. So this will be the flow of this automation. Here we have taken the example of Wix application to create a website form. And as and when any person is going to fill this form, it will create a record in Grist, which is a spreadsheet application automatically. Okay, so the data you have entered in the form will be added as a record in Grist. Okay, so you need not to manually sort out the data uh, of a, every form submission and manually add the data one by one in a row here in this spreadsheet. So this will happen automatically and it will surely save a huge amount of time of yours and uh, streamline your data entry process. So here we are using Pavli Connect to make this happen. So Pavli Connect is an integration and automation tool and guys the best part is you can set up this automation in very few easy steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So let's set up this automation together. So guys, first of all, you have to log in into your Pavli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and reach this dashboard and here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, just click here on this create workflow button and here you can provide any name to this, any suitable name to this automation. So I'm giving the name here as uh, Wix forms to Grist automation. Okay. So after filling the name like this, you can click on this create button and you can see uh, our workflow is uh, created here like this. And on this page, you will see this trigger and action. So the, our automation work on these two things and the trigger is the happening of an event which is going to trigger or start this workflow. workflow. So it is uh, saying here when this happens and the action is the response towards the trigger. So it is saying do this. So as in our use case, the trigger would be a new submission received from Wix form and the action towards that trigger would be uh, to add the same data you have received from this form to Grist application. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger. So from this choose app field, choose the trigger application, which is Wix in our case. This is it. So like this Wix forms and in the trigger event, you have to select new submission. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pabli Connect. Okay. So with the help of these instructions written here, you can uh, connect, you can connect with Wix with the help of this URL. You, I can show you how exactly you can do that. Uh, so I'm going to my Wix applications dashboard. This is it. Here I have created this website page. Okay. So here you have to open the dashboard of this website that you have created. So this is the uh, sites dashboard and here on the left hand side panel, you can see this automations option. Click on automations. All right. Here you have to select, uh, sorry, you have to click on this add, uh, new automation button. Click on this new automation button. And here you have to give a name to this new automation. So I'm giving the name here as to Grist. Okay. Here you have to select this Wix form application like this. Now you have to select a uh, specific forms, click on specific forms. And from this name field, you have to search your form that you have created and attached in the website. So this is my form contact us form that I've created. Now click on apply. Okay. So the form is selected and here it is asking to choose the follow up action. 
so the follow up action is connect to web hooks click on connect to web hooks uh, guys uh, here in this target url field you have to paste the web hook url that you got here in your workflow just copy this web hook url and paste it here in this target url field like this okay select all keys and values and after that click on activate so you can see a new automation is now active and name of this automation is to grist okay this is we have added here so uh, we are connected with the help of this url with fix now it started showing here waiting for the web response okay so this means now you have to do a test submission this means you have to open the website page and fill the form on the behalf of any test customer and we are going to capture that test data here and with the help of that data we are going to we are going to move forward in this automation so this is my website page this is the form so let me fill this form uh, let's say mr zubair hassan is filling this form this is the email id of this person and the message you want to send is i am impressed by your workflow so this is a test submission so i have added this test data click on submit so you can see thanks for submitting is written here form is submitted let's check in public connect if we got the data of this form submission and here you can see in this response received section we got the uh, submission form submission data as this here you can find the name of the person the last name the email uh, the message the first name the email id and uh, all other related things with the form submission is here so this is how you can capture the data now i want to add this data that we have received from the form into grist application for that to happen you have to connect grist here in the section step so search for grist and uh, and now you have to choose the action event so action event would be create record then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it is asking for the token key to make the connection with grist application so you will find the key in the profile settings of grist application let me show you where you can find this so this is my grist applications dashboard and here is the table a spreadsheet i have created here in which i want to save the data okay and here you can see we have this profile icon click on profile icon and here you will find this profile settings click on profile settings and under this page you will find this api key here so just copy this key and paste this key here in the token field and then click on save and you will be connected with grist application so we are now connected and here it is asking to select the team okay so we have teams here in grist application so select your team my team is only one personal team okay so now you have to select the workspace so here i have a workspace called as home okay and under this workspace i have all these documents or spreadsheets created so i am selecting home workspace and now it is asking for the document so my documents name is this wix form okay so select wix form from here this is it after that you have to select the table so the table's name is response select response table now it is asking for the first name the last name and the email so guys you have to map all these things from the first step okay so we have received the form submissions data from wix in like this in the first step so now i am going to use this data only to map things here so to map the last name uh, sorry first name just click here and you will find this wix form step in the drop down and from here only you can find the first name this is the first name for the last name use the same process map the last name and for the email use the same process and map the email like this okay now you can check your connection with grist application by clicking on save and send test request and a new row will be added here in this record okay let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens so you can see this is the response we have received let's check in grist application if we got a new row and a new row is added here with the same information that we have filled and mapped here 
okay so this is how it is going to work guys so our connection with Grist is working fine and we are done setting up this automation let me show you a real time example how it is going to work so uh, let me open my form and let me fill this form again this time miss Yamini Singh is fill this form this is the email address of this person and the message you want to say is you guys are awesome this is the message she want to send and now she's clicking on submit and this form is submitted now let me show you directly in grist application if we got the data of this new form submission added or not so guys here you can see we got the data added here automatically of the form submission okay yamini singh is added here so this is how it is going to work guys and our automation is working perfectly and the good part is you can use the same automation that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.